consistent back and forth between Yemi and Miracle. Since the time that Miracle OP got into the house, I think he saw Yemi as a great competition and the fact that Yemi is with Kosi and he liked Kosi when he got into the house. And according to him, Yemi is not treating Kosi right. So why won't Yemi just allow him get into the picture and begin to treat this lady the way he wants to treat him? Hmm. No be small matter because eh, last night Miracle OP changed it for Yemi the same way that Yemi changed Change this for Miracle OP. Hi, Sutupu, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for just with me. If this is your first time on this channel, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell right to the side. To my amazing subscribers, you guys are the real deal. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so I was thinking about this Miracle OP situation, and while I'm going through Twitter, I'm seeing different analysis, the way people are talking about the matter. You know, now when it comes to faith, people will carry their faith matter on their head and say it in a way that you'll be wondering, ah, ah, I watched this situation, what happened? How come why did it change like this like this you understand <laughs> it's just a lot but i say okay on this channel me you know now i'm going to bring you the gist as it is if i don't see it i will not see it you get so i'm going to bring you the gist direct or what happened but before we go to that miracle and yemi situation there was something that happened all through the day that i think piled up to that situation so miracle op and kosi have been having moments together since Monday, I think Miracle, according to Kosi, she's trying to bond more with Miracle because Miracle accused her of not spending quality time with him as a partner. So she has been spending quality time with Miracle, especially yesterday. It was a lot of quality time they were together almost throughout because Yemi has been busy with the wager. He has just been giving in his best, not having like not sleeping a lot, just doing everything to make sure that they don't lose this wager during his tenure. So, Miracle, Opie and Kosi were spending time together. They were laughing, giggling, doing everything, you understand? And it got to a point where Kosi was telling Miracle that, oh, Yemi is going to be so mad because he was telling me yesterday that whenever I'm with you, we are laughing, that what are we discussing about? And Miracle now started laughing the more. I'm like, bro, calm down, take it easy. <laughs> so, I don't know, I don't understand. Although Miracle and uh, uh, Kosi have been having a lot, a lot of conversation, talking about Yemi, talking about her boyfriend, outside and all that and Kosi mentioned something she said the reason why she's doing whatever she's doing in the house with Yemi is because this her boyfriend that is outside this her boyfriend that nobody knows but we've heard so much about him that she has been in a relationship with for the past four years she said this bubble she knows is okay if he wanted to marry her he would have talked about marriage since but he refused to talk about marriage so she knows that hmm, oh, this marriage this our relationship is great but i don't think this bubble is even thinking marriage so she will not because of someone that she knows that his mind is not even toward, going towards marriage now deprive herself of having fun in the house do you understand and she said she has not caught her boyfriend cheats before but sometimes when she gets to the house she sees like a strand of hair she sees champagne in the fridge and she knows that he doesn't take champagne like that so she's wondering hmm, what's going on but she has never confronted him because she feels that he's a very good boyfriend and he deserves it if we're being truthful don't forget that Kosi has also mentioned that this boy gives her a boyfriend allowance, takes care of her, everything she needs, the boy provides for her. So she's not thinking marriage with the guy. And as a matter of fact, even if the marriage happens, she's going to be so, so surprised. Okay, now fast forward to night at night when Kosi went to meet Yemi and she told Yemi that ah, I don't understand what's going on. This blue was having a conversation with the girls and she kept on mentioning your name. She was mentioning your name. She was mentioning your name. So what did you tell her? What did you say to her? Yemi was like, I've not had any serious conversation with blue apart from when I told her that we should give each other space. So what are you talking about? Kosi was like, eh, I don't understand. She was intentionally mentioning your name so that I will hear. Yemi was like, no, no, no. You know, she's just maybe trying to get at you. But there's nothing between blue and I i'm being sincere with you now there's nothing you have to worry about and all that and all that so because he was sharp putting her face somehow and according to reaction on twitter of which me to have seen i don't think blue really talks about yemi a lot like that so maybe the one that kosi is talking about is it that we do not see it or kosi was just trying to be down so that yemi will come and console her and they'll spend moments together i don't understand that part Sha. <laughs> So now to the plate issue that turned into the disagreement last night. As a matter of fact, I was shocked that there was no fight. But maybe because they are guys. Because if this matter had happened between ladies, I'm sure there will be bad boys. A lot of it going on there last night. So, um, 
after dinner, a bobo, you know, Yemi and Lenisa made roaster for everyone to get into duty in the house so the house will be clean during their tenure. And everybody after eating, they're supposed to wash their plates. See this matter of you know wash plates, you know wash plates after eating. Every year in the big brother house, they're always having that issue. Like why do some people feel they cannot wash their plates after eating? I don't even understand. Anyways, they said everybody wash your plates. And after dinner, some people wanted to wash their plates. Example is Yvonne, Olivia, and Juicy. They wanted to wash their plates, but Ebubu was there. So Ebubu just said, no, you guys should drop the plates. Don't worry, I would handle it. While Ebubu was washing plates, Big Brother announced that hot water is now available. When Big Brother made that announcement now, Miracle was sitting there and the people was like, ha, it will take like 20 minutes now. This water will no longer be available. Then Miracle said, no, if we will leave it, I will help you wash the plates. If people was like, Miracle, are you sure? I don't want to have my bath. And then come back to washing of plates. Miracle said, no, don't bother, guy. I will do it for you. Don't bother. Just going to have your bath. Okay. We say we will leave the kitchen. He said, he asked Miracle again. Miracle, are you sure? Miracle said, yes, I'm very sure. Okay. If we will leave the kitchen, went to the bathroom to have his bath. The next thing we saw was Miracle in the kitchen, washing plates while Ipeleng was also there. After Kosi went to tell Yemi outside that Blue is doing this, Blue is doing that, while the both of them were coming inside together, Ipeleng turned to Yemi and said, Head of ours, it's not like we are complaining, you know, but don't you think that it's wrong for people to be piling up plates in the kitchen? And Yemi said, Yes, I'm aware, but don't worry, I will handle it. Speaking about I will handle it was because they were already plates in the kitchen, even before dinner. So that's what Ipeleng and Yemi were talking about. The next thing Miracle said was, Yemi, uh, I don't even understand why people are leaving plates after dinner. A people was supposed to wash only pots and all that. And Yemi was like, no. About a Google situation, I was there. I witnessed it myself. When a bubu told people to leave their plates, he said he was going to wash it for them. So I don't think that the situation is the same. And Miracle said, why will you say that? Is a bubu supposed to wash plates for people? He may said, but he was the one that said he was going to wash plates for people. I witnessed that myself. And Miracle said, no, don't even bring that as an excuse. That's like a, I was the word that Miracle was using yesterday. Um, is this like lipo? I'll be what? I don't, I don't remember. He said, that's like a, an opportunity for people to come and drop plates. And Yemi was like, guy, what is it? And Miracle was like, guy, don't say that. That's not even an excuse. Blah, blah, blah. And Yemi said, Yemi walked out angrily. And he planned on to Miracle. You've annoyed the head of us. So are you ready to take the heat? And Miracle said, yes, this is not the first time. I'm ready for whatever that comes with it. In an angry mood, Yemi went to meet Yvonne. And he said, okay, explain this place situation to me. Because I'm going to address everyone about it. But I want to know what happened exactly. Yvonne explained that, okay, Ibubu asked me to leave my plates as well as Olivia. And Ibubu walked in. He asked Ibubu what's going on. Ibubu said, while I was washing plates, Miracle volunteered to help. So they were wondering, where is this problem now coming from? Miracle now confronting Yemi about the same situation, plate situation, you volunteered to help. When Yemi called everyone together, then Yemi said he wants to start by appreciating everyone for their contribution to the wager and how they are putting in effort to make sure that everything is okay. But he also wants to bring up an issue. He said, Miracle OP, I don't appreciate the way you addressed me. I felt disrespectful. I know what I'm doing. I said I was going to address the plate issue. You coming off at me like that was so disrespectful and I do not appreciate it. Then Miracle said, Okay, he wants to speak. He said he, he's bringing up the situation because everybody knows Ebubu is nice. So people should not be using that niceness as an opportunity not to wash their own dishes. And then Yami said, well, Ebubu is 28 years for crying out loud. He knows what he wants to do. He knows why he wants to do it. If at any point he doesn't want to do it, he will clearly state that he doesn't want to do it. The miracle said, no, that's not right. That's not this, that's not that. And Nana said, miracle, I don't understand you. You volunteered to help. If you were not ready to help, you should have just left the plate. I'm sure you're saying this now because you saw us going to the kitchen to wash and the people volunteered to help. Miracle said, no, I didn't even see anybody. I only saw people washing and I felt it was wrong. So there was a bit of back and forth there. And Elisa said, it's okay. We are going to keep going back and forth without coming to a conclusion now we know everyone should wash their plates and all that and there was a wrap up of the conversation Miracle felt angry that Yemi addressed him publicly while he addressed Yemi privately although the tone of Miracle addressing Yemi came off wrong and Yemi felt disappointed when Ipele was speaking to Yemi it was normal they didn't have any problem but the tone sincerely the tone at which 
Miracle addressed TME was not right at all. And again, because of the existing disagreement between the both of them, it just rubbed off you know, in a whole different manner that they had to have a back and forth about it. Now, when Miracle saw what Yemi had done, Yemi noticed that Kosi was not in the best of moods, like she was almost crying. So he called her and said, baby, what's wrong? Kosi and I said, please, can I speak with Tabang? She was asking Yemi if she could have a moment with Tabang. And Yemi said, what's for? What's going on? She said, I feel like Tabang will understand me better. I don't think you understand me. Yemi said, no, I'm your bubble. Speak to me. What's going on? <laughs> Kosi began to explain to Yemi that she's a spiritual person and her mood right now is because she's very, very angry. She explained to Yemi that she knows that the way Yemi presented the matter, she knows that Miracle came off wrongly to Yemi, but now the whole house is going to be angry at Miracle and he's her partner, so she feels like it might affect her game. Yemi apologized to Kosi, telling her that he didn't intend to affect her game that way. That wasn't his intention at all. He just wanted to address the case. While Kosi and Yemi were having a conversation, Miracle walked in and then said, bro, I don't appreciate that. I confronted you privately. I don't expect you to come at me publicly. The next time you try to speak to me publicly like that, I'm going to disrespect you and you're not going to like it. And Kosi was like, Miracle, Miracle. Then he walked away. Yemi didn't say anything. He just told Kosi, leave him alone. Then Miracle went to the housemates one after the other to table his situation and to let them know that he's not a bad person. In this case, Yemi is the bad person. So Miracle went to Kanaka Junior. He went to Yvonne. He went to um Kosi and then it was shot trying to let them know that Yemi is the bad person. No, I'm not the bad person. This situation did not come off this way. Yemi is wrong for presenting it publicly and all that and all that. And all the housemates are like, I think it's because of the existing issue between the both of you that is making the matter worse. As a matter of fact, Kanaka Jr. was trying to tell Miracle that I think you should get to know Yemi because so many things you said about him, like him being disrespectful to women and all that and all that. I don't think it's true. I think the both of you just need to get to know each other. But Miracle Miracle was insisting on the fact that everyone should see Yemi as being wrong in this situation and not him. When Yemi and Nelisa had a conversation, because Nelisa actually was trying not to make the situation about Kosi, she said she would appreciate if Yemi had not gone out to speak with Kosi. Yemi explained why he had to go out to speak with Kosi so that this just to calm her down because he noticed she was crying. And Elisa said, I know you like Kosi Yemi, but sometimes you just have to let her be and not let her affect your game. Because in this situation, we are the heads of house and people are looking at us. I didn't want what happened between your miracle to, I didn't want people to see it as being, as it's been about Kosi. I don't want it to be like both of you are fighting about Kosi, you understand? And Yemi was like, no, that's not what happened. And they held it out, they sorted their issue. Now, miracle OP, definitely doesn't like Yemi. We know that. Everyone knows that. And he has said it before that. He just wished that Big Brother would give him and Yemi a boxing ring so that he would deal with Yemi terribly because he feels Yemi is disrespectful to women. Yemi is rude. Yemi is this. Yemi is that. But Miracle Opi has been claiming that he's off Kosi's case. That right now he doesn't want Kosi again. Don't forget that Miracle was saying that on Valentine's Day but on Saturday night he presented the issue again to say eh, Yemi is not treating Kosi right. And I'm like, what is going on? Do you think that Miracle Opi will ever get off his feelings for Kosi? Do you think he will completely be able to forget Kosi and just let her be with Yemi? Or do you think that if today Kosi decides that she doesn't want Yemi again, Miracle Opi will be willing to accept her back? It's just a lot. I think Miracle Opi is deeply in love with Kosi. I don't understand. And there's Tabang and Kosi giving themselves this kind of long distance and they are both feeling down because they cannot even speak to one another. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot. In fact, Yemi is monitoring uh, Kosi to make sure that she doesn't go to Tabang. Yesterday when you saw her go to the garden, he knows that Tabang was there. He followed her. He's like, babe, what are you looking for? Do you understand that kind of thing? I cannot come and lose my baby to a 21-year-old boy. That's, what, that's the game that Yemi is playing right now. But I think it's fair enough for Kosi to also be, you know, what's the word? Be faithful with Yemi since he also left blue. And I'm not seeing him playing any game in that corner. There's just a lot going on in the house. And I said about this fight, this agreement situation, let me come and gist you what really went down. So you don't be seeing different, different reactions from fans who are obviously taking sides. So that's what really went down, guys. I just I should tell you the story. There is a lot going on in the house. Yeah. 
preparing for their wager i think they should really win this wager because the effort they are putting into it is a lot they should really win i'm rooting for them to win it's a lot going on in the house and i'll be back with more just not just about the big brother titan show of course but other celebrity opponents and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to this channel and i'll be right back with more just bye for now